For 2019, changes have been made to the aerodynamic regulations in an attempt to create closer racing and more overtaking. Looking at the front wing, the complex end plates that currently outwash the airflow around the front tires are banned. The front wing's width, meanwhile, is increased by 200 millimeters to make its performance more robust when a driver is in the wake of another car's dirty air. Moving the wing forward by 25 millimeters should also help the consistency of its performance. The simpler 2019 end plates mean almost the full width of the wing is devoted to direct downforce generation, allowing drivers a greater opportunity to get close to the car in front. The height of the front wing has been increased by 20 millimeters to further enhance its power and make it less sensitive to stall, something that's plagued drivers in recent years when they suddenly lose front end grip when they are following another car. The multiple underwing strakes seen on current cars have been limited to two each side, meaning more of the airflow will be fed to the underbody. This is less sensitive to disturbed airflow and in turn creates a less choppy wake for the following driver to deal with. Moving along the car, the front brake ducts have been simplified and the surface available for aerodynamic exploitation has been reduced, so there will be less of a downforce reduction when that area is in disturbed air, another thing that should help the drivers. And the banning of blown axles will further smooth the airflow. Further back, barge boards have been reduced in height by 150 millimeters, making them less powerful and less aerodynamically disruptive. They are moved forward by 100 millimeters to better join up the flow from the front wing. At the back of the car, the rear wing has been increased in height and a limitation put on the pressure equalizing end plate slots. The increased height of the wing will take the rooster tail wake coming off the back of it higher into the air than is currently the case. The DRS opening has also been increased by 20 millimeters, boosting its potential power by around 25%. An additional benefit of the increase in height and width of the rear wing assembly is that it will create a bigger hole in the air, helping drivers to slipstream the car in front more effectively. The height is up by 20 millimeters, while the width will increase by a full 100 millimeters. So although the 2019 car might not look radically different from its predecessor, it's hoped that its revised aerodynamics will create better and closer racing at the pinnacle of motorsport.